Waiting Freak 976 here with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I've been promising this video for a while, so you know what? You're finally going to get it. My video on climate change and the truth about it. Uh, a guy named Gearhead was arguing with my good friend, MSD Geist, about global warming, and he said that back in the 70s, scientists predicted it cooling. Okay. Uh, that's actually not true. I'm going to get to that. But first, the very first uh, scientist to actually kind of predict that this was going to happen, climate change was going to happen, was a, a brilliant Swedish scientist by the name of August, uh, excuse me, Savant August Aurelius, back in the early 20th century. He predicted that the emissions of CO2 uh, back in like the, the teen, you know, uh, 1910s and stuff, would cause, by car, cars and uh, factories being built, would start to cause a warming effect. Well, his work went on noticed for decades, until 1953, when the government started a new branch to study the effects of nuclear bombs being dropped, like on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and all of our uh, missiles we were firing, all of the, the cars, and again, nuclear plants, and, and a, a scientist named Gilbert Plass of John Hawkins University did a study and concluded that yes, CO2 added more heat to the the ozone, you know, to the the, the, the atmosphere. And in 1965, President Lyndon Johnson predicted by the year 2000, he said our generation has done a lot of damage, and that there would be a change in the climate. And you know that 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 you know there has been more people predicting the warming than there has cooling but a man named Steven Schneider predicted global cooling in the 70s but he only said that because he thought again all the big smokestacks and stuff would block out the sun and said it might ca might cause a cooling effect it wasn't even, the whole article was not even published it was published uh, the people like even Newsweek back in 1975 ran the article and he even later said, I, re I regret saying that. He said, hey, nobody's perfect. So, you know, other, 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 uh, excuse me, other uh, organizations, articles and stuff have predicted warming. A lot more scientists predicted warming. Um, uh, to the 2008 Bulletin of American Meteorolog Meteorological Society, 71, um, Global scientists previewed from 1965 to 1979. The number seven predicted cooling, 20 predicted it would be uh, were neutral, and 44 said warming. Warming. Okay. And you want to? Uh, that is, you know, they, they were all predicting a global warming. 44 of them were, but seven did predict cooling, but only because they thought, you know, the green, uh, the the gases and stuff from all of our smokestacks from all of our factories would cause that. And you, you just look at how the Republicans and neocons, liber, neocons, libertarians, and all the rest of them are trying to fight global warming. This is incredibly stupid and sad, like my good friend Frank said. Just because Ron Paul gets up there and says, you know, if it's a hoax, doesn't mean nothing. You want to know who else also thinks it's a hoax? Senator James Enhoff. The last flat earther on the face of the planet. The same man who said, if you look at my family, there was absolutely no divorce ever or homosexuality. Care to take back that statement, Senator? Well, he was trying to fight the the, the global cha uh, global climate change bill, or yeah, by Joseph Lieberman and Senator John McCain. Believe it or not, so he had two. Uh, there were two uh, uh, writers named Willie Soon and so be uh, Bolinas working and they wrote they, they wrote this this article saying that the, the the global warming that was happening was no different than from the pattern of the last thousand years ah but what people didn't know is is that they were funded by the George C Marshall Institute uh, the tech uh, doctor soon worked for the techcentral.com and uh, also, uh, they worked for the Center for Science and Public Policy Climate Research. All three. What were they? What, what, what was? What's the connection here? They were owned by Exxon Oil. Exxon Oil. The New York Times 
uh, criticized the, the, the publication, saying it was underwritten by $53,000. Even the guy who, uh, uh, Otto Keen, uh, the man who uh, helped fund the, 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 the pu publication, said, agreed with the critics on how the paper was not factual. But yet, Enhoff ran with it, the media ran with it, and the, the bill was defeated. If they said, you know, if they said that Earth was changing just for natural causes, then the neocons and the libertarians and all them would believe it. But when you say it's man-made, it's man, it's caused by man, this defense reaction goes off, <clears throat> and I think they just don't want to admit. Oh, and here's a good one. I'm going to link some videos to give you more details on some of this stuff. But climate deniers also think Mars and some of the other, some of the other planets nearest the sun are warming. But not Earth. Okay, how 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 is smart? Well, one uh, conservative picked up on it, and a guy debunked him uh, uh, because he actually read the article. Again, I have a link on that one. I don't want to go too much into it because this is going to be kind of a long video. Okay, Anthony Anthony Watts. Here is the attack. I'm calling this video the attack on global uh, climate change. Uh, he works for Fox Noise, Fake Noise, the terrorist comedy channel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he investigated all of the uh, weather stations, and he thought the government was trying to push climate change through weather change, through our weather stations. Okay? Is the U.S. Temper uh, temperature, uh, surface temperature record reliable? In 2008, he published his book, which was put out by the Heartland Institute, which based in Chicago, the website said it is dedicated to the free market principle. The Heartland Institute has lobbied for the Tobacco Institute. Yes, they have. And um, a little bit more about the Heartland Institute before I uh, fricassee uh, the Dumbo there. Um, what was his name again? I don't remember. Uh, Anthony Watts. Uh, Heartland boss, Joseph Bass. He defended smoking and the deregulation of smoking and uh, less taxes on it in a book called Please Don't Poop in My Salad. Okay. Okay, now, Mr. Watts was uh, attacking the National Oceanic and uh, Atmosphere Administration, NOAA, saying that, you know, all of this uh, was a lie about the temperatures and stuff. So, they had to put up their own stations. Mr. Watts and the, the government funded them stations, and they put out uh, temperature patterns. Guess what? They were the same! It was exactly the same! This is unbelievable! It blew up in his face! Of course, he had no comment on the matter. Big surprise. This is unbelievable. There's a lot of libertarians, regular good libertarians I know, who believe in climate change. But oh God, the far right libertarians and the neocons, man, you cannot convince them. What you just think that we can pump nuclear waste and, and all that those smoke the stacks from the from the the, the factories and stuff and, and our, uh, our emissions from our cars and stuff and you know and all that CO2, all the missiles that are fired by the wonderful loving. Uh, uh, beautiful military, and nothing happens? Oh, oh, but how the world works? He's got a good f uh, theory. I watched one of his videos, even though he blocked me after one post. You blocked me! He said, and I'm not kidding, if climate change is happening, did anyone ever stop to think that all the cows and animals out there farting may have, uh, may have something to do with this? Oh. Uh. What? Animals? You know, this is what they do. They lie, and, and big corporations fund uh, climate deniers to get on TV and lie to people, and the American public is unaware, and they're uninformed. If we don't do something, and do not do something fast, our world may not be here. It, it'll take a long, long time. But it will... I mean, there may be countries and states in the United States, in the ocean, I mean, maybe the world, 
might half the world might be underwater. If we do not do nothing, if we do not pass grain emissions, you know, grain bills to help our climate, it might not be here in the future. Please think about what I'm saying and watch the videos I'm putting up. I did give, I hope, a lot of uh, helpful info. I, I couldn't give all of it, I'm sorry. But um, I hope I helped uh, spread the truth.